Good day, my name is Richard and a warm welcome to Tutoring with Richard where we cover the South African school syllabus and native topics. If you find these videos helpful, please consider supporting me on PayPal, Patreon or buy me a coffee. Links in the description box below. Today we're going to cover strength of materials in 6. The topic of this tutorial is the DP exam, question 7, that was written on the 25th of May 2023. The formulas used are included in the video. The question is also posted in the description box below. We have now been asked to issue a cautionary note. Some of the formulas used in these videos, which are taken from DP examinations and past papers, do not appear in most textbooks or the formula sheet attached to your exam. You will need to know some of these formulas in order to do some of the sums. They appear in the beginning and end screens. Let's get straight into it. Okay, the question 7 goes like this. A cable hangs between two supports which differ 7 meters in length. The turning point of the cable is 6 meters below the lowest support. The cable has a weight of 10 newtons per meter and the tension at the turning point is 250 newtons. So, first things first, let's draw our values. D is equal to 7 meters and H is equal to 6 meters and our weight of our cable is 10 newtons per meter and our F at turning point is 250 newtons. So what this basically represents is two supports and here is our cable. Now here's the turning point between here and to the top between there and there is 7 meters between here and there right, the cable let me draw the cable a little bit lower so that the turning point now our turning point is 6 meters below so that'll be 6 meters like so now what we need to do is go from there to there we need YO now this whole length between there and there is Y1 and between there and there is Y2 Okay, we need, what we need is YO, Y1, and Y2. We need also L1, L2, and we need L3, and Y3. So, our first question is they want the tension at the two supports. So that's the tension here and the tension there. So they want the tension at both supports. So how that'll work is we need YO. So YO, YO is calculated by F turning point over weight. So 250 over 10 equals 25 meters. So Y O is 25 meters. Now Y1 now to calculate Y1 is quite simple. It is Y O plus 6. Actually I got these mixed up. 
this is h and that is d because for y1 y1 equals y o plus d so all we have to do now is say 25 plus 6 equals 31 meters y2 is y o now what we're going to do is say f t1 we will not need these again so it is w y1 so we've got y1 so and w so it's 10 times 31 so it's 310 newtons that is the force that is the tension in at the at the first point at the first support so that's the tension at the first support f t1 the tension at the first support is 310 newtons that may be important later so pay attention and write down every single value Now to get y2. y2 equals y1 plus h. So that is 31 plus 7. 38 meters. y2, 38 meters so now that we have that all we need is f t2 is 10 times 38 which is 380 newtons f t2 380 newtons and that is question one now seven comma two they want the length of the cable okay now they want L1 L1 equals the root Y1 squared minus YO squared and L2 is just Y2 minus YO So, what we're going to do is the root of y1, 31 squared minus 25 squared equals eighteen comma three three meters. Eighteen comma three three meters. Now L2 is equal to the root of y2 squared minus y o squared so the root of 38 squared minus 25 squared equals 28 comma 618 meters 28,618 meters. So now what they want, now all we have to do is just add both of them up. So LT 
equals 18,33 plus 28,618. Equals forty six comma nine four eight meters. That is your answer. Okay. Now seven point three states the distance between the supports. So we want x one and x two. That'll be quite simple to do, and then we add the two together. So what they want, what they want basically, is the distance from there to there. They want there to there, and this is x one, and that is x two. So what we do first is say x one equals y o. Lin times y1 plus l1 over y0. So this is 25 lin times y1, 31 plus l1, which is 18,33. And this is sixteen comma nine nine two x one sixteen comma nine nine two meters x two and x three. X two, same exact formula. So it's twenty five lin times thirty eight plus L two twenty eight comma six one eight all over twenty five and X two. Four comma five o three. Okay, so what we're going to do now is x total is equal to sixteen comma nine nine two plus twenty four comma five o three. Equals forty one comma four nine four meters. Now our last question: the distance from the turning point where the tension is thirty three hundred and fifty newtons. So we need. L three and Y three. So okay. Y three equals F three over weight. So F three one to three fifty over ten, which is thirty five.
Det er bare min tøs. Okay. L3 equals the root of y3 squared minus y0 squared. Finally, x3. x3 equals yo lin y3 plus l3 over yo. Okay, so now what we're left with is 25 lin times. 35 plus 24,495 all over 25. And our answer is 21,675 meters equals x. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a like and subscribe. It really helps with the algorithm and to grow the channel. Positive feedback is most welcome. I enjoy reading your comments. Please use the comments section to let me know what topics you would like me to cover in upcoming videos. Be at peace, be kind to each other, and remember, passing well is achievable. Have a great day. Looking forward to seeing you in the next video.